Hello, I'm Peter Crawley, the head of school, and I've got with me Eloise Campbell and Lukey Smith from our Year 10 group. We're uh, uh, going to welcome you to the school by showing you around the school today. Uh, we're starting here in reception, and as we walk around the school, we'll tell you something about the story of the school. We're standing in the chapel at the moment, and I thought we'd uh, tell you something about uh, how our chapel works within the school uh, system. So, Eloise and Lukey, uh, in your words, uh, how does chapel work around the school? Uh, well, it's predominantly run by students and it happens once a fortnight, right through from prep to grade 12. And uh, it's just a really nice place to reflect and, uh, and just talk about issues in the world and obviously about the Bible as well. When, when you just say the girls run it, uh, uh, are they the girls from year levels or senior girls? How does that work? So um, every fortnight we have the middle and senior chapels which are held in the MPC and they're run by the chapel prefects which are seniors. And then every uh, second week we have the year level chapels which are held in the chapel by, and they're run by year level sort of chapel committee girls. What we're trying to do is get more involvement of the girls in the chapel uh, operation, but also getting them to feel a little more involved. That's, as you would imagine, uh, uh, always an ongoing activity to, to help the girls feel relaxed in chapel. Uh, help them feel involved as po both organisers and part of the audience. In our background is the middle school, which is the area for Year 7 through Year 9. It's, uh, it's an area that uh, we think is, is a rather beautiful part of the school for the girls to enjoy their education through the middle years. Uh, Lukey and Eloise have just graduated from the middle school in leadership positions uh, in that section of the school. Perhaps you can tell us something about your experience going through middle school. Middle school was a really fun experience. I learned a lot of things, not just um, a lot of things about um, self-confidence and um, I learned a lot through my leadership role as well in Year 9 about public speaking and also the focus weeks. Year 9 was um, a year where we learned a lot of new things about you know the school and we were able to... So yeah. how did you go through 14 and all those difficult years <laughs> Uh, in the middle school. Did you manage to cope? Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really close-knit community and it's really nice and it's also the stage where you get to choose your own elective so you're getting more into the stage of knowing what you want to do and then as Lukey said in grade 9 with leadership it gives you a really nice chance to kind of lend a helping hand out to the younger grades and you just become a lot closer. And did you find we looked after the new ones? Yes, definitely. Yeah, through the buddy program as well. And orientation days. Mm. It's always, everyone's always welcome. That's great. Yeah. We're standing in the school's new kitchen. We built this a couple of years ago and all of the girls in the school spend some time uh, learning the basics in this uh, area and at, uh, for some of the girls as they get progress up through the years they will spend uh, time sp uh, doing specialist activities up here. So these girls would have done some in years seven and eight, is yes. it? right? And what sorts of things did you do? Uh, well, we cooked quite a few pastries and salads, and then we, in the end, when we moved up to like more harder tasks, we cooked actual proper meals, and we took home quite a few recipes, so we actually learned how to cook. So you were actually allowed to cook the salad. <laughs> no, like noodle salad. Oh, okay, and right. The salad okay. And more things like that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, it's an enjoyable part of the school and the important one for basics. Thank you very much. We're standing on the top floor of the new Jennifer Reeves building in front of a couple of the classrooms. Uh, now, if I could ask the girls to, you've been taught in this area, uh, what, what do you see as the, the features of this part of the, uh, the library? Well, on this top third floor, we've got the library taking up the majority of the space and then classrooms just around the outside. So it's really useful for girls just needing to quickly get out and get their books for assignments. And inside the classrooms, we've got the interactive TVs, which work um, as our, like, um, for PowerPoints and other shows or documentaries we might watch. And inside the classrooms, there's also some library books which are really convenient as well. I've noticed an awful lot of glass up here. What do you think of being taught in classes with all this glass? Well, the TV, the interactive TVs and then the tables are situated so you don't actually look through to yeah. the other classroom. So it just makes it more open and bright but you don't get distracted by the other class. Is it a comfortable space to work in? 
definitely with the couches as well in the classrooms and around the building it's a really great area for students to sit and learn. Like this there are quite a few small areas where girls can come and work independently. And um, it's a really quirky and comfortable place where girls can come and sit and relax and enjoy themselves. This room here is a small meeting room and a kitchen that girls can use. Whilst this is now a very modern library and space for girls to work in, we still have a very traditional variety of books for girls to use. Similarly to the other areas, this is another little space that girls can come and relax. Here we have some of the Year 8 students working on their animations for their IT class. As you can see, it's just a bit of a different alternative to sitting at a desk, and but still the girls get lots of work done and it's a really good space to work in. Where the girls are looking to fill up their drink bottle or to work in a small meeting room, Reese has accommodated for that. Um, at the moment we're sitting at the teardrop tables which are another area where girls can come and relax and sit comfortably to do their homework and other study. Behind us we have the St Hilda's Learning Institute where the school curriculum is formed and uh, girls studying media can create videos and high-end uh, media productions. And also behind us is the media area and open study space which also acts as a modern and comfortable area for girls to learn. Behind us is a Year 10 Maths class which is using the interactive TVs um, which is another comfortable learning environment for the girls to work in. Behind us is an office and senior school centre where girls can come and get anything they need. And to my left we have the open learning area once again. To my right here we have the staging area and uh, that has lights and uh, sound system as well. And also behind me we have the radio section with a original 1950s on air sign imported from Milwaukee. So this is a really good area for girls to come and uh, create their own projects and have a bit of independent time. And also to our left we have the cafeteria and tuck shop where girls can come and buy food of a morning and um, at morning teas and lunches. Also, girls can sit and heat up their own food in the microwaves we also have. We also have drinking taps and um, fountains as well for their use. Behind us is the coffee shop, which is run by students, and girls can come and grab a coffee or hot chocolate of the morning, and also in the afternoon can come and grab a snack. And in front of us we have the Year 12 Common Room area. This is a bit more secluded for our senior girls and they also have access to microwaves and taps and a fridge. A really good point about this Reeves building is, it, is that it really integrates well into the oval and the uh, netball and tennis centres that we have around us. It's a very central location as well. And also in front of us we have the ping pong table which is a really fun aspect to the building. Um, a lot of girls can come here over morning tea or lunch time and play. Yeah and it's just this building has a really unique feel about it and girls really enjoy coming here. It's comfortable yet uh, all the high tech and new upgrades are really good for our learning. Mm, and overall I think the building is a really fun and quirky area which is really modern but also has its classic touches to it, so it's a great space for girls to come and learn and enjoy themselves. We're standing in the Langford Theatre, which was the original school assembly hall. Uh, we converted this to a teaching theatre a number of years ago and it's been a remarkable success. Behind us is the stage, which uh, at the time of the renovation was doubled in size and also uh, we placed in new curtaining, new lighting and new sound equipment and it works extremely effectively. Girls, you uh, involved in the drama programs in the school, aren't you? Yes. Um, what sorts of things do we do around the school? Uh, well, for assessment pieces, we often hold them within here. Uh, often parents can come in and have a look. Uh, there's also twilight concerts for music and drama students. So it's a nice formal area so parents and students can feel proud of their work.
Are either of you involved in the drama classes? Yes. Yeah. You're, you are. And, and how did those work in here? Without, um, without desks and chairs, how does that work? Well, we have a lot of floor space, so a lot of the time we do sit on the floor, um, or we'll sit in the uh, bleachers. Thank you. <laughs> we'll sit in the bleachers and do our work. Um, but a lot of the time we'll be on the stage performing and doing acting tasks. We're standing in the boarding uh, quadrangle at the moment. This really is the historic heart of the school. Behind me are the stairs leading up to the year uh, 7 through 10 areas of the boarding. Uh, but uh, this area has three boarding houses in it, one for the 7s and 8s, one for the 9 and 10s, and another for the 11s and 12s. Uh, neither of these two girls are boarders, but uh, tell me about the interaction that happens around the school between the day girls and the boarders. How do the two interact? Well, the day girls and the boarders, we're really quite close. There isn't uh, separate social groups. Uh, a lot of the time, day girls and boarders do bond really well and we do a lot of things together, taking them out on leave or going up to the boarding houses after school. So, yeah. Do you ever pinch their food? They more pinch our food. <laughs> <laughs> Usual competition goes on between day, yes. day girls and, yes. <laughs> and the boarders. They can understand. <laughs> Thank you. We're standing in one of the musical uh, teaching rooms at the moment and I'm standing now with the addition of Janet Kelly who is the head of music in the school. Uh, girls, you, you do music within the school yes, and involved? Yeah. What, you, what involvement do you have? Uh, I'm in many of the choirs and string ensembles and then also woodwind ensembles. Right, well. how do you get time to learn all those instruments? <laughs> um, it's a lot of practice time on weekends and before and after school but there's always teachers at school that are available to help you as well with your study. Right. And Lucy, what, what are you involved in? I'm in the middle school concert band and um, I have previously helped out with junior concert band and done a bit of work with that. So So what sort of instrument do you play? I play the bass clarinet. Right. Yeah. Why the bass clarinet? Why do you play that? It's groovy. It's Is it? Yeah, I like it's it. Very, very nice sound. Does it have nice a very distinctive really sound? <laughs> yeah. oh, there you it's go. a big asset to any ensemble. Is it? <laughs> and what range of ensembles do we have? Well, we've got choirs right from grade, from prep right through to grade 12, and we've got string ensembles, junior and senior string ensembles, and chamber ensembles, quartets, etc. And we've got bands, junior concert band, middle school concert band, senior school concert band, and we've also got big band and rhythm and blues band as well. So if the girls want to learn the guitar, can they learn the guitar here at school? They certainly can, but it's also part of our year eight program that they learn guitar right. in year eight as well. What about the French horn? Horn. The French horn, yes. yes. Um, in years five and six, they actually can play French horn and they can learn French horn here at school what individually. A, what well. about if a girl wants to be a drummer? A drummer? Well, we, grade five and six also, they start yes, drumming they as well and they can take that right through to grade 12. So whether it's violin or drums, we can manage it. Definitely. Definitely. And singing. And singing. And singing. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you. We're standing in our brand new health centre with our nurse behind me, Judy Chorley, who looks after the girls. Uh, this is primarily for the boarders, but day girls do come across here from time to time. Uh, the girls, uh, have you ever been over to the health centre? I have, yes. You have? Yes. And were you looked after? Definitely, oh. yes. Very quickly as well. Very quickly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. Well, as you pan around, what you'll see is you'll see a relaxing area across there for those that just need a quiet sit and a moment to meditate to good health. And on our right, we have a, an area where the, the girls can, uh, uh, in a sense, um, uh, be treated more like you would in a traditional hospital. And in the back areas, we have uh, consultation rooms for doctors and uh, other areas for other degrees of wellness. We're standing in the Arts Centre and uh, around me we have a Year 12 group who are starting their Year 12 studies and they're at the moment uh, operating on artistic silent running. So what we have is creativity in the, in the making. This room, of course, will be converted into the music school as this part of the school moves up to the, uh, the present school library. But uh, this is a favourite bit of the school as far as I'm concerned because you walk down here and it feels different, it feels artistic, it feels creative. And there was only one moment that I got upset when I walked down here when our head of art here, Alana Hampton, tidied it up. And uh, that was a devastating moment to me, but it's, uh, it's always in beautiful condition with creativity just bursting from its seams. Uh, are you girls art students? I take art. You yes. take art. And why do you take art? 
because it's, it's a, it gives you a whole different range of skills as well. It's not just about sitting and painting. It's a lot of an analytical skills, and you, you build up a whole different array of different kind of... Does, does it worry that the answer's not in the back of the book? No, not at no. all. Just, just keep going. It's, and it's very personal as well. You learn a lot about yourself and what you can do. And yeah, it's, just, it's a relaxing subject as well as very... You need to know what you're doing. Okay, thank you. Here we are in Year 8 uh, ICT with Mr Powell. And uh, a few years ago, we decided that uh, rather than teach ICT in the way in which many schools do, which is to teach the, the students how to do PowerPoint and a Word document and basics of uh, uh, Microsoft software, we decided to teach uh, the subject through animation and creative filmmaking. So, Mr. Bell, what are the girls doing here at the moment? Well, this is our first lesson for the year, and we've learned two very important things. First of all, how to make things wiggle. You cannot have an animation without a wiggle. And the second one was Animation 101, which is the bouncing ball. So the ball has to squash and then release and go back up into the air. So we're working on our wiggling and our bouncing. Well, the class at the moment is running on an extraordinarily silent operation. But uh, <laughs> if we get them to join in the conversation, would you put up your hand if you have made your worm wiggle? This has already <laughs> happened and we haven't finished lesson one. There you go. Wow. Has anyone made a ball bounce? Oh, that's more successful. And such so ball doesn't only bounce, it goes through a basketball hoop. Wow. <laughs> that's clever. Girls, you did this subject when you were younger. What uh, activities did you do? Uh, we ended up making entire animation movies, so taking these basic principles and taking them a bit further and putting soundtracks to them. Yeah, and in year seven we did a program called Clay Make... Well, we did... Stop motion. Stop motion. Stop motion. <laughs> Um, so that was fun as well, where you take little pictures and make it into a, a big mm. movement. Excellent. Yeah. Well, good luck to this class. Lukey and Eloise uh, were uh, students in the junior school at one stage, uh, uh, grade five and prep, and we've revisited 4F in our junior school. And 4F are doing some interesting mathematics. Girls, what are you doing with your maths at the moment? We, we are measuring leaves and other objects, objects in, in our the classroom. classroom in a very coordinated way by the sound of it. Now, what are we looking forward to doing uh, this year, girls, as far as uh, uh, the whole year? What, what are some of the things we're looking forward to doing? Oh, now, just behind me here, what are you looking for? Mathematics. Mathematics, excellent. What? Um, Cross-country carnival. Cross-country. Camp. Camp, excellent. What are you I'm looking forward to working with my classmates. Working with your classmates, and right over the back, over the week. I'm looking forward to all the carnivals. Fantastic. Well, with your teacher who is uh, sitting across here, we're, I'm sure you're going to have an absolutely wonderful year. So thanks for being part of the film, girls. We'll see you uh, later in the day. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> we're in the Caveman Centre, which is the junior school drama area, and we're with 1K, and 1K are having their very first drama lesson ever. So, with Miss Cooper giving some instructions on a quick drama activity, here we go. All right, girls. Now, I'm going to put some music on. When the music stops, I'm going to get you to get into a group of that number. All right? Everyone yeah. ready to go? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Let's go. Do you remember coming down here, uh, girls? Yes. yes. Uh, what uh, sorts of activities did you do when you used to come down here? Um, sometimes when we were younger, a teacher would read to us and we'd all sit on the floor and have a bit of a reading session. Or we could work on more substantial projects at computers. 
So did you come down and borrow the books? And yes, yes. Right, take them out. Did you have a library bag? We had a book bag. A book bag? Yeah. We borrowed two books for a week. Oh. <laughs> yes. Did you get them back on time? Most of the time. <laughs> We're down in the school's gymnasium at the moment and behind us is one of the junior classes who are learning some basic gymnastics. In the next few minutes the camera is going to pan around some of the school's wonderful sporting facilities just to give you that sense of the variety of activities and the variety of ways in which we can enjoy sport uh, in our school day. I hope you've enjoyed the quick tour that we've given you of the school. It's a wonderful school, fantastic atmosphere, and there's really so many opportunities to, to follow. But girls, as we do the final uh, comments, what are you two looking forward to doing this year? Um, I'm really looking forward to choosing my subjects for a second time, years 11 and 12. It's a really good opportunity to uh, fine-tune your skills and look forward to the future. Okay. Okay. And I'm looking forward to the new Reeves building opening. I'm excited to um, make use of the new facilities. Okay, That's great, girls. Look, I really do hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the short film. If you're interested in the school, please make contact. Let us uh, show you around personally and come and meet people and see the girls at work in the classroom. Thank you.